Hello everybody, welcome to the Crypto Winter. My name is Arash. In this video, I'm going to help you and I'm going to teach you how to identify the end of a trend. I recommend you to watch this video carefully until the end because this video can help you to take the wise decision in financial markets. And let's begin. In the previous year, Bitcoin price moved down from $62,000 to $28,000. After that, we had a recovery up to $66,000. And right now, Bitcoin price is $35,000. In cryptocurrency market, it's really important to identify and to find the end of trend. Okay? In this video, I'm going to teach you. And let's move to the chart for more examples and for more tips and let's begin so i moved to the room because explain it and the chart is going to be very easier for example you can see that bitcoin moved down too much after that it moved up too much and after that it moved down too much again you know, in the market like this you have to find the power to identify these highs and bottoms because it's too important it's really really important I'm going to give you one golden tip in this video, which is going to be mind blowing. And I recommend you to share this video with your friends because this video is going to be money making. In the financial markets, when trend is going to get finished, price moves up and forms a high here. After that, price moves up again. We have another higher high. After that, price moves up again. And as you can see, this trend is getting weak. How? Because the first time, price moved up too much. After that, price moved up a little bit. And after that, price is just moving up gradually, which is telling us that this trend is getting weak. And if you see high volume at the tops here, at these tops, if you see high volume, it's a huge sign that Veils are selling and we are going to see some reversal. We are actually calling this pattern tree driver because we have three tops, the first one, second top, and third top. And after that, we have something like this, price moves down. Or this is the most common uh, price pattern in financial market that we have bunch of tops and after that price moves down dramatically let me give you an example up here for bitcoin as you can see we had one example which has worked perfectly price moved up for the high after that price moved up a little bit and we had another high and after that price moved up gradually as you can see this final trend was quite weak and you can see the three driver pattern you can see the breakout from this trend line this breakout is really important guys this breakout is really really important after that we call this trend line driver trigger line or dtl and after the breakout from this trend line we can actually move to lower levels you can see that price moved down we had a pullback and after that bitcoin moved to the $28,000, okay? It's too much. So, you can actually identify the end of a trend when you are looking some, uh, to do something like this, and it's too important. And I'm going to give you another example. Another example is down here, which is amazing. You know, we had bearish example up here, and we have bullish example down here. But let me draw you the bullish example first. After that, I'm going to begin. Price moves down dramatically. After that, we have pullback. After that, price moves down a little bit. And after some pullbacks, price moves down again. And the final trend is actually weak. And we have massive volume in the bottom. Okay, When price uh, reaches these areas, we have massive volume after the breakout from this trend line. When price moves up and breaks above this trend line in the pullbacks, we can expect the price to move up to the higher levels. We call this uh, price pattern three driver, and three drivers are really profitable. If you find them at a specific level, they are going to work nicely, and you are going to end up making a huge amount of money because this pattern is 
working really really good and don't forget that everything you see and hear in this video and you are going to hear in this video is not going to be a financial advice this whole video is made with educational purposes so right now we know about the bullish example of this uh, price pattern if we move to the line chart we can see that we had the first bottom here after that price moved up and again price moved down again we had another bottom and as you can see the final bearish trend was quite weak after the breakout from this trend line we can enter buy position and price moved up too much and the funny thing is actually that another example was here the first stop second up third top after the breakout from this trend line price can move down to the lower levels okay this example works really well and you know this three driver pattern works pretty well we had it up here we had it down here we had it up here again but in this area we didn't have a three driver pattern i'm going to explain uh, how you can identify this high too but i myself i missed this high i couldn't predict it i'm really sad about it but yeah you know i did a bunch of good analysis but this one has been missed because we cannot be true all the time and right now the golden tip another actually golden tip in this video is that when you are searching for some three drivers pattern or i don't know head and shoulder pattern reversal pattern anything you have to search for it at the potential support and resistance areas in the higher time frame for example for bitcoin the highest time frame possible is going to be the monthly time frame in the monthly time frame we have a bunch of shadows here here from twenty nine thousand dollars up to thirty four thousand dollars this is a potential support area for Bitcoin in the monthly time frame and also we had this potential resistance area which was the previous all-time high too so when you are thinking of finding some sort of highs in the market uh, when you are when you want to identify the end of a trend you need these levels because these levels are quite important and I think if Bitcoin moves down to these levels to the $29,000 or $30,000 we are going to see some uh, higher levels it's not going to be a financial advice but i myself i'm going to buy a bunch of bitcoins one or maybe two is going to be good for me right now and i'm going to uh, do it without any kind of leverages no future market no leverage trading nothing at all classic spot trading is going to be my best option for the market like this so uh, when price moves down to this level this is what i do because i think we are going to see some higher levels i might wait for some confirmations we might have three driver pattern again for example we might have the first bottom the second bottom the third bottom you know we might have something like this and after the breakout i might enter buy position and you know after that price can move up again but if i don't see some three drivers pattern like this for example here we didn't have any kind of three driver patterns too i'm going to wait for some more confirmations some other confirmations for example up here we had a divergence a huge divergence in the rsi this divergence was quite clear for me and we have divergence all the way here too so the first sign is having a massive amount of divergence and actually the second sign for me is going to be the breakout from this bullish channel we had a bullish channel here and we had a breakout after this breakout after this big red candle here i'm going to sell because i couldn't predict this high i couldn't predict this area it doesn't matter you are not going to sell up here all the time you are not going to buy down here all the time and you are not going to sell all the way up here all the time it happens sometimes that you miss something and that's why you can actually enter short position here after that price moved down and if you zoom in you had another three driver pattern if i move to the line chart is going to be more clear uh, for example here we had the first bottom 
second bottom, third bottom. Sometimes we have four bottoms, okay? It doesn't matter. As you can see, the final uh, bearish uh, trend was really weak. And after this small breakout in the lower time frames, we can actually enter buy position and we could have this profit too. And that's what you can do in financial markets. Don't forget that uh, we have failed three driver patterns too. For example, here we had the first bottom, second bottom, third bottom, and we didn't have this breakout, you know, for having a confirmed three driver, we need a breakout from this red trend line, which is driver trigger line. We didn't have something like this, but sometimes we have failed uh, three drivers too. So uh, take care too much and pay attention to this pattern too much. Uh, I myself, I trust this pattern most of the times and I end up making profit. And the other sign of having uh, reversals, massive reversals in financial markets are going to be stop hunters. Stop hunters, they are too important, really, really important. And I'm going to give you some examples. These examples are going to be mind blowing actually. For example, here at this bottom here, we had a low here. You can see a big green candle here with a long shadow, which is a sign of a stop hunters. And it's a, it's a sign that price doesn't want to move down below this level again, okay? And also price moved down again. And after that, we can see this big green candle and the breakout from this trend line it's actually a sign that we are somewhere near the potential support area and after this price is going to go up. Let me give you another example. For Bitcoin up here, all the way up here, we had the potential resistance area. It was a previous all-time high level. Uh, it was too important. As you can see, price has moved up above this level we had a massive rejection from this level after that price moved up again and we had another rejection from this level and we actually break below this trend line too a small trend line in the lower time frames if you go there you will see it clearly on one, one hour time frame it's going to be extremely clear trend line and you know it's a sign of a sub hunter and you know most of traders they have entered buy position here and here and right now price can move down because then we have a stop hunter pattern whales are going to sell up here and they are going to buy down here and after that price will move up or down too much okay a stop hunters from certain levels for example all-time highs or all-time lows are going to be really important they are too important because if we have a stop hunters whales are going to do opposite and you know, after that, uh, price can move up or down dramatically. Let me give you some examples of stop hunters again. And after that, I think you are good to go. If you focus, you can see a bunch of three drivers here. Another three driver pattern here. And you know, three drivers are actually everywhere. You know, if you zoom out and you zoom in, you can find really, really uh, strong reversals in the market. And you can actually make a huge amount of profit from trading these uh, three driver patterns. Don't forget that we need to see these three drivers somewhere near potential support and resistance areas. For example, up here, uh, when we are seeing this potential resistance area, and when I see this three driver pattern, I get too excited of entering short position. And again, when I see this three driver pattern again i get too excited to enter short position and you know you have to see this uh, pattern in the certain levels and don't forget that sometimes we are not going to have three drivers we are not going to have anything special stop hunters are going to be really really well for example we had a potential support area here price moved up and after that we had a move down to this level again as you can see, this long shadow has triggered the stop loss of uh, long positions. And after that, price moved down. So take care too much and pay attention too much. 
about stop hunters and about free driver patterns. For example, here we had a potential resistance area, resistance, resistance, resistance. This long shadow here has triggered the stop loss of short positions. Okay. After that, you can see that price moved down uh, dramatically. When you see a stop hunter pattern, when you see something like this, it's a massive sign that you are going to see some big trends in the future. Another example here, we had a potential support for Euro dollar, price moved up, and after that price moved down, and after that again price moved up. So when you see a big candle above this level again, when I see this candle, I am pretty sure that we are having some stop hunters here. And as you can see, price moved up too much. Not really too much, but we had moved up for 200 pips, something like that. And also we had eight green bars, which is too much. And you know, you could make a huge amount of profit. So don't forget that in order to find reversals in order to identify the end of a trend you have to take care and pay attention to two things the first thing is going to be three driver patterns in the certain levels for example somewhere near all-time highs all-time lows and some and somewhere near for example weekly and monthly time frame levels and also the second condition or the second place that you are going to see a reversal is going to have a stop hunters. You know, stop hunters, they are too important. If you saw a big stop hunter from certain level, for example, from daily, weekly or monthly time frame levels, that's a sign that you are going to see a big reversal in the future. And don't forget that for trading, you need some confirmations before entering or doing any kind of trades. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up if it was useful for you and make sure to smash that subscribe button because we are going to have daily live videos about Bitcoin technical analysis, altcoin technical analysis. We are going to talk about metaverse, NFT lands. We are actually going to cover everything you need to know about cryptocurrency market. So turn on notifications because I want to see you later.